Yes, finally, Triton. I have found the final ingredient. It's an emerald from your bank. If I throw it at just the right angle, I should get an immortality potion. Might even get the emerald. Potion of being immortal. What? No! Hello guys, I am back. I am XCX of the Chaos Brothers Gaming, otherwise better known as Gaming Bros of Chaos. Sorry for the background noise. There's something going on. This is a busy, busy household, so I can't make every day perfect, okay? Okay guys, but today we're doing a Mono Monday. Mono. One. So I brought this villager in to keep me company. Triton. Okay. So guys. We're going to do brewing today. So I'm going to teach you guys some basic brewing. So if you take a glass bottle, click it with that, you get a water bottle. That's all I know. No, I'm just kidding, guys. So guys, um, there's two ways of doing this. Um, you can either refill this with a water bucket every time, or you can just go like that. And this is now an infinite source, even though it's not infinite. So you see the source block never goes away. So guys, there's two ways of doing it. I like this way better, but if you want to be all fancy in your burning stand, have a cauldron, whatever. Fine by me. So guys, once you have a whole bunch of water, okay, once you have water, you can start brewing. So the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do, guys, is I'm going to teach you how to make a night vision potion and then how to make an invisibility potion. So first, you're going to make a golden carrot, and how those are made is... Alright, let me pull out this trusty thing. Craft the table. So how you make a golden carrot is you go to food and yeah, it's right here. So you need a carrot, surround one by gold, and you got a golden carrot. So once you have your golden carrot, you put it in a brewing stand. Well actually no, forgot. First you guys are gonna need nether warts. Where you get nether warts is you get nether warts in the nether. And you can create a farm. And farms are pretty simple. To create a farm, all you need to do is you need to have soul sand. I'm gonna create a quick one outside. I don't know if you guys, you guys might think, oh yeah, I'm gonna need lava now. Okay, you actually do not. Nether wart farms are as simple as soul sand and some nether wart. And yes, guys, you do move slowly on soul sand unless you have a speed potion, which I'm gonna show you how to make after. This nitrogen. So once you have those, uh, you can't bone meal it, guys, certainly, but you can break it, and it'll give you another water normally. I wasn't on creative, so. Anyway, guys, it's going to grow, and we're going to see if it grows by the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, uh, this is going to be a 15 minute episode. So, hope so I can get through everything. Uh, okay, guys, first, and we're going to have another brew. And we're going to wait for that. I'm going to make another we're gonna make in the meantime I'll make the potion, and we're we're gonna make three in here. Just be showing you guys how to do that first one. And I'm rather to make it down a little fast. And you guys, it doesn't take it doesn't work for three potions. You only need one other. Three now you can do three potions. Four. And once you're done, you get an option potion. It doesn't do anything, so you don't drink it. it. Doesn't do anything. So why? What's the point? You just waste another work. So now you're gonna use a golden carrot. A golden carrot is going to melt down, and you're going to get, uh, wait for it to be done. So now we got these three done. So I'm going to put one in there. And guys, this is how we're going to make our, um, speed potion. So for a speed potion, all you simply need is you need, uh, sugar. And that's it. So you put a sugar, and what's an awkward potion, and then you make that with another wart in a water bottle. Put that in there, and you'll get a speed potion. Okay, so our night vision potion is done. So now there's a couple things we can do with this potion. Just three potions. I mean, three things we can do. Sorry, not potions. 
we can, here guys, get some redstone and get some glowstone if you want to try this out. But if not, you're just watching this for a tutorial. Feel free not to grab it. Anyway, so you got to get glowstone and, oh, and there's a fourth way too. Well, this isn't a fourth way. It's just another thing you can do with it once you have it. So we're going to grab a couple more. One thing, one night vision potion. That's what we have right now is a one night vision. We're going to grab a couple more for demonstration purposes instead of having me make them again and again and again. And again. So I doubt you guys want to watch me do that. If not, if you do, you're crazy. Just saying. Okay, so we're going to get about three more of those. I'm actually going to get four more. Give me a second. Okay, guys. There we go. So now we have five night vision potions. The first thing you can do with it is you can add redstone. And what redstone is going to do is it's going to go and go and go and go and go. Just keep flowing. Just keep flowing. Just keep flowing. And I believe this is going to make it longer. I don't think. Oh. And it makes it more, more, yeah, so it gives it night vision. It makes it longer. Yeah. Or it was also an eight vision potion a minute. When before, it still only makes things three. So now, so right now I believe, it makes it longer. Now, we have one go back here. A glowstone. This one makes it, now we're going to go, and we're going to throw with this one. Should sure. put night vision two, if it exists. So I think night vision two makes two. I don't think not. That's why I want to test it. May or may be about you know night vision I'm going to start off with. I thought the good one. Gonna give you potion on night vision. Still three minutes, but I don't know. This one has two bars. Okay. That's the difference guys. Okay guys, so the last thing you can do, you can take night vision gunpowder. And when you mix the night vision and your gunpowder together, you will get. Give it a second. We're gonna check up on our speed potion. So now we have a speed potion, which we can mix with redstone and other stuff too. But what I'm gonna do is actually no, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna add in redstone just because I want some. Actually no, we're gonna add in glowstone. So yeah, guys, you gotta pick one or the other, because otherwise, if you put in redstone after glowstone. It reverses the effect, which is no good. Oh yeah, guys, I also forgot to mention. If you want to, you can put two together, and it would give them both glowstone. Just two different potions, if you want to. But we're not going to do that, because we have no need to. So now we have a splash potion, which means we can splash it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's good if you want to give a zombie or something, something else. Okay, which I'm going to teach you, actually, by the end of this episode. So yeah, guys. Now we have that, but anyway, so we have a night vision potion, right? Now I'm going to break out the fermented spider eye, guys. So how you make a fermented spider eye is you go into a crafting table and you go to food. It's not food, though. You need a mushroom, a spider eye, and a sugar. And you'll get a fermented spider eye. What you do with a fermented spider eye, you put it in here, and it adds in the reverse effect. Except for night vision, it's really weird. So I'm going to grab another... One of those spider eyes. Spider eyes. Okay. I'm going to grab a glowstone and a fermented spider eye. I mean, not glowstone, gunpowder. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add in a fermented spider eye. Actually, I don't want to add in a... Well, anyway, if you add in a fermented spider eye to a swiftness potion, you get a slowness potion. So, you see, it opposites. So now that I entered a fermented spider eye into a, a night vision potion, I got an invisibility potion. So look, which I guess would be the opposite. Night vision. Makes sense, in all, I guess. So I have an eight minute invis potion. Now if I drink it, I'm invisible. Now. Can't see me now. You can't see me. 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 You can't see me. John's. You can't see one. It's a guys. Yeah, I think it's cool. Okay. Okay, yeah. And the toys. Sorry. So, what do you think so far? Okay. Here's Trayton. Trayton, so far? So far. 
Huh? Oh, you don't want me to talk about the milk? Oh. Okay, guys, you want to So, what also what we can do is you can an empty bucket. Put what you can. Go out here. Cow farm. Oh, and then oh, the milk so farm is growing. And you can go outside to the cow farm. And once you take a bucket to a cow, and you do that, and you get a milk bucket. Makes sense, right? It does, actually, sort of. Anyway, guys, so that's a milk bucket. And when you, when you have a milk bucket, you can drink the milk. I'm going to drink Zai's milk. Okay. Once you drink the milk, all your potion effects are gone. So what I think should be added is a milk splash potion. So that way, it would help you. So when people are drinking, when people eat a god apple, sorry. Um, I had a minor technical difficulty with my camera. It ran out of battery, so I had to fix that really quick. But anyway, so when you eat a god apple, ready? Watch all the effects I get. So ready? I would eat a god apple. It wasn't in creative mode. But anyway, I get like resistance and all that other crazy weird stuff that you don't need. So if you have a splash potion, well, you need to win a PvP, but the other person doesn't want you to have a PvP. So, just clean up some inventory space. So really, you really don't want someone to have that. So if you can make a splash potion of milk, Mojang, if you watch this video. I mean, not Mojang anymore. It's Microsoft, sorry. Bill, if you're watching this video, Bill Gates, please, 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 add in a splash potion of milk. Makes the game a whole lot better for PvP. Anyway, our speed potion is done. Now we have speed to splash. So, all right, guys, watch this. You know how slow I was walking? on this soul sand. Now watch how fast it is. Sorry for the background noise, you guys. Like, again, like I said, this is a busy, 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 busy household. It looks like EJ just came over. What's That's up, EJ? That's some high quality H2O. So now watch how fast I am on the soul sand. Much faster with the speed two potion. What are you doing this video about? This is a how to brew. So yeah, guys, how to brew what? Everything. Oh, that was how basics. to brew snot. It's how to brew basics. How to brew snot. Got okay, thank you for those words of wisdom. So yeah, guys, you can brew almost anything. Glycerin, melons, magma cream. Try it out for yourself, guys. Um, I still have a few minutes, so I'm going to teach you some more stuff. Well, actually, no, that's what I wanted to teach you. So yeah, guys, we're going to do a quick show off here. And we're going to grab a... It's golden or god, I think. Mm -hmm. And now we need a splash potion of weakness. If I can find one, sorry. It's been a while. I'm not normally finding potions. Invisibility. You know what? We're going to find this. Ready? Yeah, guys, I'll be right back once I find. Okay, guys, sorry, but I was trying to show you guys was that before that I cut it, I was trying to show you guys that if I take a golden apple and I mix it with, well, if I take a golden apple, feed it to a zombie villager, and mix, and then feed, and then give it a splash potion of weakness, what will happen is it will turn back into a villager. Sadly, I couldn't find any zombie villagers, and when I tried to make one, it didn't work. So, yeah, guys, we're going to finish it off. And look at my sugarcane farm. I'm not my sugarcane farm. My um, my nether wart farm. See, guys, that's all you have to do for a nether wart farm. You don't need lava or whatever. And yeah, guys, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed how to brew on a mono Monday chaos gaming.